Hey y'all and welcome back to Our Road Less Traveled. Today we're going to talk about campground etiquette for newbies. Now this is not an indictment against anybody. No. Some of y'all may not agree with some of this. Some of this may or may not have happened <laughs> before. One of them did. Twice. <laughs> there's, Place a, still there's, a, there's a few of them that have happened. And some of them are just common sense. So in no particular order, the first one on the list, pick up after your dog. These things are cheap. They work really well. You put it on like a mitt, you grab the waist, you fold it back up, you tie it in a knot, and you throw it in the garbage. It's real simple. Don't let your dog poop in places and just leave it as a landmine for somebody to step in. We have had this happen. Twice. What happened? One of our neighbors let their dog poop beside our wet bay and I stepped in it. Ugh. Speaking of pets. Okay, so an extension of number one. Yeah. Keep your pet on a leash all the time, even if they're under voice command or you think that your pet is friendly to all pets. Mine may not be. Valid point. <laughs> if the camp rules say, keep your dog on a six to eight foot leash at all times, keep your dog on a six to eight foot leash, it's real easy. And ask before you pet someone's dog. <laughs> or you might get bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so what's number two on the list? Uh, turn off your lights when you go to bed. I think that's a good rule of thumb. All right, so to, to be more clear, we're not talking about the lights in the RV. Yeah. What we're talking about are these beacons de Mars that go above the awnings that when you turn them on, you, you can see them from- Or the cap light. Or, or the cap light. Yeah. Um, now, we're not necessarily talking about the underglow lights yeah. because typically those don't radiate far enough um, a lot of people have motion lights on. Yeah. Those are probably fine. And too. those are fine too. It's it's when you turn on your LED lights above your awnings, and all these things are bright in a close campground. Not a campground like we're at right now, where we have trees and bushes as a barrier. It wouldn't be an issue here. But when you're in a like a concrete parking lot where you know your slides are almost touching each other, turn your lights off. I mean, just. It's a good rule of thumb anyway. Just go through your rig and turn all the, the lights off, your inside lights, your outside lights, just turn everything off. Another good one is respect quiet hours. You know, it gets past 10 o'clock and you don't need to be outside shooting off fireworks or playing loud music. <laughs> all right, so the next one on the list, I don't know where I fall on this. I, I get that the community is, is against it. Um, Cutting through campsites. Occupied campsites. Occupied campsites. Yeah. Um, me personally, I, I don't mind if, if you if you walk through the campsite and, and we're outside and you say, hey, you know, and I don't know that that bothers me. What bothers me is kids on bicycles running up beside the truck, in between the truck and the fifth wheel, or, yeah. you know, messing around on outside of our stuff um, yeah. because they're not careful little right. humans and I don't want an accident to happen yeah so you know that that's where I stand on it um, yeah which leads into the next one teach your kids common etiquette for campgrounds like yeah. not to come up in someone's space and try to pet their dog without asking or um, or, try to get in on their video or or just, uh, <laughs> just, just as simple if, if you know your kids come up and they're tasked with taking our garbage to the dump just tell them to do it <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> by and large the kids we've run across have been great kids y'all are doing a great job we've yes. only met one that one I swear that she was interviewing for the second remake of 
The Shining because she stood right next to me with eyes like saucers going, ah! and uh, <laughs> kind of weirded me out a little. Oh, and speaking of kids, don't speed through the campground. Yeah. Because there's tons of kids always riding bicycles. They come out of nowhere. They don't look before they cross the road. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. And y'all y'all can fall on two two sides of the fence <laughs> on that, that they ought to know better, but let's be honest, they're they're little human beings. They don't have much life yeah, experience. Right. I mean, you gotta cut them some slack. So you know, Yeah. And they're they're just living their best life out here. They're just right. having a good time. Go slow. Now we've seen this happen too. Um, make sure that you put away your trash and <clears throat> and all your food at night because yeah. wildlife can come into your campsite. Bears will lick your blackstone. And if now, you, yeah. if, if you want to put it at the front of your RV site and leave the lid open so that they clean it for you, <laughs> might be okay with that. But just know if you leave food out and you're in Colorado or one of the bear states, you're probably going to get visited by wildlife. Yeah, raccoons, bears, anything. And while you may not be worried about said animals, it can scare the shit out of other people. All right, speaking of trash, clean up after yourself and don't leave your site a mess. Don't no. throw trash in your fire pit. We've come, gone to fire pits and seen bottles and all kinds of trash in there and it's just not cool yeah no, leave that, it better than you found it yeah that that's one thing that and i'm not saying you all have to be tree huggers but the fire pit is for building a fire not for putting plastic containers that are going to stink and smell you know it's, it's not a place to put your garbage and burn it you know you're you're not in you know west whatever alabama where you, you burn your leaves and your garbage it, yeah. it's for firewood and really as campers I think we have a duty to to leave an area cleaner than when we got there yes now this is another one that we've run across before um, you know when you walk through the campsite the campground and you get a whiff of something kind of smelly a poopsie yeah Maintain your sewer hoses and all of that just to make sure you don't have any leaks. It, it's okay to replace those. I, I get that they're expensive, um, but it's okay to replace them if, if they're leaking a little bit. Uh, just make sure your seals are good and you don't have any leaks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Yeah. And speaking of sewer hoses, make sure you're prepared at the dump station. Don't be fumbling for your keys, trying to unlock your bays and getting your gloves out and all of that. Make sure you have all of that prepared when you get to the dump station because there's probably some people waiting behind you. Yep. Um, one thing I will add to that is a lot of dump stations, they just have a flip up cap. So assess the situation. And if your little elbow won't screw into it, make sure that you have a plan for putting weight on that so that when that rush of water comes down and it hits that opening, it doesn't pop back like an elephant snout. And spray poop on the people across from me. I'm not gonna tell you why we we know about that i'm just saying this is a big one for you don't try to offer unsolicited advice to someone who's trying to back their camper in or try to talk to them while they're back in their camper in yeah i i can confidently tell you mm -hmm. um now unless we know you personally and and you want to joke around while while we're setting up you know i i know you it's not a stressful situation that that we have to interact or you know we're going to lose a subscriber or something <laughs> but if i don't know you uh, i'll be polite the first time the second time I'm probably going to hurt your feelings i'm gonna go a step farther and say also if you're a campground host and you think that you need to help everyone some people don't want help yeah, we, we have a team right here. Yeah. It works really well. I haven't hit anything well. since we got the fifth wheel. <laughs> since we got the truck. 
Um, we, we have a process. We got it under control. <laughs> uh, if I need your help, I will let you know. Other than that, you are more than welcome to set up a lawn chair and watch and make all the funny comments you want, but <laughs> I don't need your help backing up. That's my partner with backing up. That's all that needs to be said. And if you try and interfere with that, beyond the, the first warning, the second one, I'm probably gonna hurt your feelings. This is just a bonus one. And it's kind of just common courtesy. If you have a reservation at a campground and you're not gonna go, you're not gonna show up, cancel your reservation. Someone else probably does want it. It might be a really cool spot that you picked and you just can't make it for some reason. I agree Just with cancel that. that. That's just being a decent human being. It is. And honestly, we should have all learned that growing up with our parents because they were constantly saying, if you're gonna be late, call. Yeah. Rule applies. Yep, and I think that you can just, the golden rule kind of applies to all of this. Treat other people like you wanna be treated. Mm -hmm. So that wraps up this week's video on campground etiquette, and we will catch you next time on our Road Less Travel subscribe and like because if you don't like then it doesn't get shared to other people and comment we love to hear comments and we always comment back we, yeah I, I think we comment back on everything that we do yeah uh, I